is a vast country with varied landforms. Plains are the vast stretches of plain land, whereas hilly regions have a rugged terrain with mountains and valleys. Our country has practically all major physical features of the earth, that is, the mountains, plains, plateaus, deserts, and islands. But how these physical features have been formed? very hard like marble and some are very soft like soapstone. The color of soil varies from one place to another because soil is formed out of different types of rocks. India is a large landmass formed during different geological periods. Besides geological formations, a number of processes such as weathering, erosion and deposition have created and modified the relief to its present form. According to the theory of plate tectonics proposed by Alfred Wegener, the crust, that is the upper part of the earth, has been formed out of seven major plates, namely Pacific Plate, North American Plate, Eurasian Plate, African Plate, Antarctic Plate, Indo-Australian Plate and South American Plate. Apart from these, there are some minor plates too in between them. Do you know, most of the tectonic plates are underwater, but we couldn't see the tectonic plates of North America and Eurasia meeting on the land surface in Iceland of Europe. The movement of the plates result in the folding, faulting and volcanic activity. When some plates come towards each other, they form the convergent boundary, while some plates move away from each other and form divergent boundary. At times, they may also move horizontally past each other and form the transform boundary. The movement of these plates have changed the position and size of the continents over millions of years. Therefore, Himalayan mountains form an unstable zone. 
The whole mountain system of Himalaya represents a very useful topography with high peaks, deep valleys and fast flowing rivers. The northern plains are formed of alluvial deposits. The peninsular plateau is composed of igneous and metamorphic rocks with gently rising hills and wide valleys. Now, we will discuss about all the major physiographic divisions of India in a detailed manner. The physical features of India can be grouped under the following physiographic divisions, namely the northern mountains, the northern plains, the peninsula plateau, the Indian desert, the coastal plains and the islands. Let us now start with the first physiographic division of India that is the northern mountains or the Himalayan mountains. The Himalayas, geologically young and structurally poor mountains, stretch over the northern borders of India. These mountain ranges run in a west to east direction from the Indus to the Brahmaputra rivers, uh, which cover a distance of about 2,400 kilometers. The Himalayas represent the loftiest and one of the most rugged mountain barriers of the world. The base of the mountain in Kashmir is 400 kilometers and in Arunachal Pradesh is 150 kilometers. The mountains are taller in the eastern half than those in the western half. The Himalayas consist of three parallel ranges. The northernmost range is known as the Great or the Inner Himalayas or the Himalpi. It is the most continuous range with an average height of 6000 meters. The core of this part of Himalayas is composed of granite. It is perennially snowbound and a number of glaciers slope from this range. The next parallel range is Himachal or Lesser Himalayas. These ranges are composed of highly compressed and altered rocks. The average height is 4000 meters and the average width is 50 kilometers. This range consists of the most famous valley of Kashmir, the Kangra and the Kulu Valley in Himachal Pradesh. This region is well known for its hill stations. The outermost range of the Himalayas is called the Shivaliks. They extend over a width of 10 to 15 kilometers and have an average height of 1000 meters. These ranges are composed of unconsolidated sediments brought down by the rivers from the Himalayan ranges. Do you know the valley line between the lesser Himalayas and the Shivaliks are known as Duns. For example, the Haradun, Kutlidun, Patlidun, etc. Beyond the Dihang Gorge in the northeast, the Himalayas bend sharply towards the south and spread along the eastern boundary of India. They are known as the Purvanchal. These hills are composed of strong sandstones which are sedimentary rocks. They are covered with dense forests because it has more rainfall. So friends, in this video, we learned about the first physical feature of India that is the mountains. And in my next video, we are going to learn about the northern plains and the peninsula plateau. If you like my video, don't forget to like, 